What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install iOS 17 developer beta. You can do this directly on the device, no PC needed. However, I'm going to show you a combined method. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Downgrade Tool, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS. And this one allows you to basically easily and efficiently downgrade back to iOS 16.5 if of course you have issues with iOS 17 beta, because iOS 17 beta is indeed a developer beta which can be very buggy. A lot of applications don't work anymore and of course you will experience some issues. So with this tool you can easily revert back to a stable iOS version if iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 doesn't work for you. You can easily upgrade and downgrade with this, you can install iOS 17 as well and of course this supports all devices that are supported by iOS 17 so no issues in there. The downgrade is actually quite easy to do, you just follow the steps on the application and it will downgrade your device in about 10 minutes if you don't like iOS 17 or if it's too buggy for you. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's also available on altphone.com. So before we get started, it's important to know that Apple now makes the uh, iOS betas free, so you no longer need to pay $99 per year in order to get the developer betas. However, you still need an Apple ID and you still need to be in the developer program. The developer program from Apple has two levels, the free one and of course the paid one. The free one allows you to get Xcode and allows you to install betas now and of course gets you access to documentation and stuff like that and the paid one gives you some more features like publishing apps to the App Store. In order to be able to actually download and install iOS 17, your Apple ID must have visited the Apple developer portal at least once and of course you need to agree with their terms and conditions. So if you don't know how to do that, you just have to navigate to developer.apple.com, press account or login in there and sign in with your account. Once you're signed in, you will be able to see something like this and you will have access to software downloads and stuff like that. If you press here view downloads, you can see that now we have in here iOS 17 beta and here you can download the IPSWs, however it's not required to actually download the IPSWs. At this point you can continue on the phone. I have a full guide in here on how to do this, how to install the iOS 17 beta, what devices are compatible and what devices are not. So compatibility basically begins from iPhone XS and newer, no more iPhone 10 or 8. And here are all the steps you need to follow in order to install it. Let me show you directly on the device. So once you've visited the Apple developer portal, you can do that even on mobile in Safari, no problem. You then have to restart your phone and of course it's important to mention that you have to log into the developer portal with the same Apple ID you have on the phone so that it registers to the developer portal. Once you do that, make sure you have the latest version of iOS on the phone, the latest stable one, which in my case is going to be iOS 16.5 and then you will be able to have this option over here, beta updates. You go here to beta updates and you select iOS 17 developer beta. Then you press back in here and as you can see now you have the option to download and install iOS 17 developer beta. You press download and install in here, put your passcode and the download will start. At this point it says update requested and in a couple of minutes it will start downloading iOS 17 developer beta if you have a compatible device. If you cannot see the beta updates option over there and instead you can only see automatic updates over here, then it means that you never visited the developer portal with your Apple ID or if you did, you don't have the latest version on the phone. So it's important that your phone runs the latest latest stable version available for you, so 16.5 in this case. If you don't run 16.5 you may not have the beta updates option here. So make sure you first install all the updates that you have for stable versions for iOS 16 and then you will be able to have beta updates in there if you visited the developer portal with your Apple ID and accepted the terms and conditions for a developer profile. As I said, iOS 17 developer beta is now free but you still need to be a free developer in order to be able to access it. So now it's downloading in there and it will begin installing automatically in a couple of minutes. So at this point it's basically the same as any other iOS update. It will reboot the phone, install and then boot again into the setup. So that's basically it. That's how you install iOS 17 developer beta. You can do this even without a computer. You can visit the developer portal without a computer. Just go to developer.apple.com in Safari on your phone and log in with your Apple ID. Then reboot the phone and go to software update and get the beta. You don't need a computer for this. I just wanted to show you this on the computer. But it's important to visit the developer portal before you request the beta, otherwise the beta updates option may not show. So that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, tell me in the comment section down below if you're willing to try iOS 17 beta, and if you did try it, what you think about it. Thank you for watching again, peace out.